So you've just spent a lot of time creating a very nice document in Adobe Photoshop that you now want to save as a PDF file. Well, let's go through the steps you need to take in order to save that file. So first you want to go to File and then go to Save a Copy. From here, you can either save your document in your Creative Cloud or you can go to your desktop computer. Once the Save a Copy window opens, next you need to choose a title for your document. And once you're happy with that, all you have to do is go to Format and change the option to Photoshop PDF. From here, you can already change a few other settings too. For example, you can choose to save your document as a copy. And seeing as we're using the Save a Copy window, that's automatically going to be ticked. You can also choose to include layers in your PDF. With this option ticked, if you ever open your PDF back up in Adobe Photoshop, you'll be able to continue editing all of the layers in your document. Next, press save. From here, you can optimize your PDF according to what you need. So for example, you can choose a preset, whether you want a high quality print, or you can choose any of these other following presets. You can also choose the lowest version of Adobe Acrobat that your file needs to be compatible with. So for example, it's currently set to Acrobat 5, but if you were still using Acrobat 4, you could choose this option too. Next, you can also choose to preserve Photoshop editing capabilities here, which is essentially what the layers option was on the previous window. You can also choose to embed a page thumbnail, which essentially means there'll be a thumbnail for each page in Adobe Acrobat. And you can also choose to optimize your PDF for the web. You can also add compression if you'd like to optimize the file size of your PDF. And you can also choose a password if you're required to add a password to your PDF. But once you're happy with all of the options, all you need to do is save PDF. And now Photoshop has saved your open document as a PDF file. However, if you want to combine multiple documents into a multi-page PDF in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video on the right-hand side of the end screen.